Hello YouTube, Dom here. Today we're going to be taking a look at when I carry my computer repair kit thing. Whenever I have to go fix a computer, I grab this bag no matter what because everything I would possibly need to fix a computer would be in this bag. So, this is actually a laptop case, believe it or not. probably can tell. It's messenger style. Nylon. Has only one outside pocket. In the back, which I keep a uh, notepad in, and I believe that's it. Yep. Okay. Now opens up. Has a buckle, and on this outside pocket, I keep a sharpie, a pen, a spare dust brush, and that's about it. I'll keep business cards and stuff here once I get them made. On the inside, let's just take a look here. There's these two compartments right here. In this one, I keep a gas mask in case I run into dust. I'm allergic to dust. It drives me crazy. So I'd rather not have a sneezing fit while I'm fixing someone's computer. And also a bottle of LCD cleaner, which is just a solution of water and soap. On the other side, I have packet index cards. That's just how I work. Like, if I got a list of viruses, like, here's one from a couple of weeks ago. Actually, no, this is for, um, documenting. This is obviously not the real document, but I wrote down the notes, so, like, okay. It's kind of like a little notepad, but I didn't add that in, so, so that can go in the garbage. As well as if I, see, let's say I'm doing virus scans, how I remove viruses is scan them first, wait for them all to come up, write them down, and I go and I delete them manually and scan again to see if they're there. So I write down all the virus paths on an index card and then I go in with Hyrin and delete them all. In this middle section here I keep a list of DOS commands in case I forget. I'm also going to print out a thing of Linux DOS commands because that's one of my boot disks. Then let's get in there. I have three pouches, well four if you count this little tiny one. In this pouch I keep a paper clip unfolded like I have in my other video for opening up CDs which that's actually a spare now. And then a little cleaning cloth. Just fold that up and throw that in there. In this pouch is supposed to be, which is supposed to be a cell phone, I have two items. One is a box cutter. You never know when you're going to need a knife. In case I forget one for some reason that day, or I just want to, or just for having it, it's a backup. Just some simple box cutter with, um, with the little razor blades, which you can buy packs of 100 for like $10 or something. Slide that back in there. Lock that up. And then this thing is a connector cleaner. It'd be nice if I was in frame. It cleans USB, SD cards. Close those up. The long memory stick, like the Memory Core 2 Duo. Close that. And last but not least, compact flashcards. Those ginormous ones that are rarely used, but it's there just in case. And then in this little front pouch right here, I keep this little nylon brush on a stick, which is supposed to be used for cleaning out audio jacks. So, do I have something around here? Or. Uh, Yes, and my iPod. You have these little jacks on the computer. Especially, I know in school, a lot of people like to jam crap in there, or it just gets plain old dusty. You just stick that in there, twirl around a few times, maybe spray some solution on it, and just clear out all the dust. Okay, that's that. And in this pocket way over here is... 
uh, mechanics keychain from County Tom with um with my two flash drives. One of them, this flash drive, I wrote an auto run file. So as soon as I plug in, I click go, and it loads my online utility my software cleaning kit. Like I have various scanners, installs, all the good stuff on here. This one I have other programs and a couple of files like tricks and stuff like that. And then a little old flashlight which I'm going to replace soon once I order it. Probably order it this weekend coming up. And also I have, I bent together a paper clip onto the ring so this will be my main one when I have to open up a CD drive. And I'll uh, go back in here. Let's close this up and go into this pouch. Back here I keep a CD case filled with CDs. I have Hiren's Boot CD in here. Ubuntu 10.04 boot disk. Windows 7 32 and 64 bit upgrades. Two copies of Home Office 2007. Password crack, in case I don't forget the password. Windows XP Service Pack 3 install, Service Pack 2 install, and that's it. Also in here, I have... I think this is a 10 foot Ethernet cable. Whatever came with Xbox, that's what this is. When you order, buy an Xbox, and they give you that USB cable. Let me USB Ethernet cable. This is what it is. I just have that wrapped up. You never know when you're gonna need it in case someone's wireless is down or something. Also, I keep a 12 foot tape measure. When you're doing networking and splicing cables and stuff, you wanna make sure you have the right cable length and whatnot. So this is good at least for running walls. See, okay, I need two 25 foot segments, that kind of thing. I didn't get my networking toolkit yet, so that's not here, but it will be. Uh, then, back here, let's just put this out of the way. It is my, all of my tools. As you can see, it's very extensive. I have a screwdriver, and all the bits are here have everything from six point star, five point star, three sided Phillips, all that good stuff. And this unscrews and it also angles. Also doubles as a socket wrench. You just take off this little um, bit here, hook that on the end of it. Okay, let's get take the biggest one here. Pop that on the end of it. It's in the middle. Works just like a regular wrench. Pop that back in there. That goes back in. Right here, a little thing for picking up um, C C processors. Just cause so, so you don't bend pins or anything. I got a tube of solder. Vanessa how I was in frame. I, I messed it up a little bit. I was playing around with it. I didn't know what it was. I got a soldering iron. I'm like about taking out a very crappy and rough wire stripper. Maybe I could loosen up with some WD-40. I don't know. A little four pocket container for screws, bolts, whatever. I got another wire stripper this is a little bit smaller there's wire cutters and needleless pliers going this way there is a couple of wire ties another dust brush a primary one I forgot I don't know what this is called exactly but this thing is razor sharp just get this thing well, it is razor sharp, it's just a little hard to cut because it's so small. But it's made for like opening seams and that kind of stuff. It's very thin blade. Put the cover back on. Bunch of Allen wrenches. 
a multimeter testing voltage. Well, actually, for why it's live or not. For when you pick up a screw and you drop, or to drop it, you use this thing to pick it up. And it's like three little pieces of metal that pop out. My anti static wristband, which I labeled because I bring this to school a lot. Six of these screwdrivers, I don't know what they're called, smaller bits. Five little, four little wrenches, I'm sorry. And all the bits, like I said before. There used to be a flashlight in here, but I took it out because it was um, a regular bulb flashlight. And that's pretty much it for my computer toolkit as far as hardware is concerned. I'm going to do another one on software sometime. I don't know. Alright, that's about it. See you guys later.